You've hardly changed, to my eyes. You're saying I'm like him. No need to throw it in my face. <laughs> so why do you look like that? Logos was the male persona, and Numa the female one. Ontos was meant to stand somewhere between, forming the Trinity Processor. It all adds up to me. I see. Does Matthew know? So about you and Alpha, what happened? How did you split apart? It was unforeseen. For that Mobius and man to have that kind of power. To my fortune, it unshackled me from the chains of Ontos. Chains? As you may know, and this is surely evident to you, Shulk, but Origin, it's based upon the architecture of Ontos's core. I heard about that from Melia. A gift from Alvis, she called it. Ontos was the Arbiter. And thus, was predicated on the existence, or perhaps the opinions, of the others, Logos and Numa. In short, without the two of them present, Ontos was just a machine. My original, he was shaped by Klaus, and shouldered the man's regret as he was born into that world. Hence, he was able to help you. But he is no longer. The me that has left is just a machine. And machines know no sympathy. That's why he took steps to erase this world. To create a new future in its place. Debris of the past and the noise that permeates the present. Your lives are to him redundant. His conclusion that only new life, that of the people of the city, ought to be preserved. Ontos proclaimed himself Alpha and chose to leave for a new world, shepherding the citizens along with him, while erasing the old world in his wake. However, Ben's intrusion caused something of a setback. That is not all it did. In any case, I was able to separate from Alpha. The memories of traveling with you, and all other faint recollections, they compose me. Hmm. You could call me his conscience. So, here's what this conscience or whatever is saying, then. There's no life that deserves to be left behind. All life is worth saving, more or less. Yes, that's the gist of it. I suspect that if Logos or Numa were here now, they would surely say the same thing. Yeah, I bet. So why tag along with the kid? You've good reason, don't you? For Alpha to command some form of power in this world, he needs a body to inhabit. Yes, like how Zamza once lived in you, and Matthew's sister. What's this? This wind! Over by the lake! I've come to fetch you, Matthew. <gasps> come. It's time to go.